both the Tesla Model 3 and the Tesla Model Y have had a big range and a massive performance boost. We're talking new batteries here, guys. Tesla have finally, finally put new batteries in the Model Y and the Model 3, and we're seeing a big increase. This, this is a really a pretty game-changing move here from Tesla. Prices have gone up by about $2,000, but um, it's well and truly worth the price rise. I kind of feel like if you've just bought the Model Y Juniper, the Model 3 Highland, you're seeing this, you're thinking to yourself, oh, I'm a bit disappointed because this is a big difference. Big, big difference. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. Great to have you with us. Thank you for subscribing. And also to those of you who have become YouTube members, members of the channel, you do get access to videos that are not on the main channel. I'll put a link in the description. What's this? What's this all about? Okay. Clearly, Tesla have changed the batteries, finally, using higher energy density batteries in China. This, these improvements only apply to the models made in China, which are sold all around the world, but um, this is not the US-made Tesla. I don't know if you guys are going to see these improvements. You certainly could. It's possible you're still getting batteries from China. Well, I guess you're still getting batteries from Japan, really, aren't you, in the United States? But anyhow... The changes here are huge for people in Australia, markets, Thailand markets that get the Chinese made version of the Model Y and the Model 3. Of course, in the in Europe, you guys get the Chinese made Tesla Model 3. So what's the difference? The long range Tesla Model 3 model now has 753 kilometers of CLTC range, which is an improvement of 40 kilometers of the previous version. That's a pretty big difference. Real world range, you're probably looking at about 600 kilometers of real world range. That's that's actually really big real world range. And that is an improvement of 5.4%. So whatever you're getting right now, when you, when you get the new version of this car, the Model 3, you're going to get an improvement of 5.4%. Clearly, the batteries have been changed. It's a higher energy density battery, I believe. That's what I've been hearing from China. But here's the thing. Performance has drastically improved as well. I mean, it's a big difference. The new Model 3 long range all wheel drive does zero to 100 kilometers an hour. So zero to 62 miles an hour in 3.8 seconds. Now that's a big difference. That's 0.6 seconds faster. So here's what Tesla said on their social media pages in China. Model three long range all wheel drive version upgraded longer range CLTC range increased to 753 kilometers more powerful zero to 100 acceleration upgraded to 3.8 seconds. Whoever posted this on their Weibo page, maybe get someone who understands, uh, I mean, it's, they've written this in English, but it's like putting these wacky emojis in it just doesn't make sense. Maybe I'm too old for this stuff, guys. Anyway, anyway, the, the point is the cars, right? The price did increase as well by 1,500 US dollars, around 2,200 Australian dollars, but I think it's well and truly worth that increase in price. And when you think about it, the upgrade for the performance boost is around two thousand US dollars, around three thousand Australian dollars. Um, but that doesn't include include an update to the range, and that's the main feature here: the increased range, five point four percent more range. The Model Y gets the same changes: range increases by less, four point four percent, to seven hundred and fifty kilometers on the CLTC cycle. That's up from 719 kilometers. So range has improved by 31 kilometers. Like, and considering the fact that range already improved for the Model Y, you know, the Model Y Juniper, the range already went up. So we're looking at two range increases in the space of a few months of being on sale. Makes it, I think, actually a very compelling option now. I think we're going to see range uh, for the Model Y all-wheel drive be definitely around about 600 kilometers or above on WLTP. The other thing is the Model Y long range also gets a massive boost in performance. It was doing 4.8 seconds before, zero to 100. It's now 4.3 seconds. That's a legitimate performance performance SUV. Very fast car now. Puts it very close now to the Model Y performance. Here's what Tesla said. Model Y long range all-wheel drive version. Range is further improved. 750 kilometer ultra long range makes long distance travel a piece of cake. This is the all-wheel drive version. Guys, what's going to happen? Tesla will do a real-wheel drive version of this car 
And that's going to probably end up getting 800 kilometers of CLTC range. So probably close to 700 kilometers of WLTP range for the updated Model Y Juniper. Tesla have done this, guys. Interesting timing. So Xiaomi come out, they, they reveal the new U7. Price is similar to the Tesla Model Y. They get 300,000 orders in the first hour of the car going on sale. They've got two years of backlog. And then Tesla, a few days later, come out with these upgrades. Ah, uh, you know, guys, well, well actually, yeah, yeah, look, you know, more performance and more power here. I mean, good on Xiaomi for bringing out this car and forcing Tesla's hand, forcing them to make their cars better. I think that's what's happened here. The Model Y, though, you can get pretty much now, a few weeks out, you can order one. But if you want to get a, a Xiaomi Su7, you might be waiting for the next 12 years. By, by the time you're watching this video, they've probably got 500,000 orders. Now, 12 years is an exaggeration, but legitimately probably waiting for a couple of years. And the Xiaomi Su7 is only on sale in China. It's certainly not going to be on sale outside of China anytime soon. Now, remember, though, the other thing is uh, Tesla does have to compete with the Xpeng G6, the G7, uh, the Leoto i8, Nero's Onvo L90, the Zika 7X, and about 50 other models in this bracket. Everyone has gone after the Tesla Model Y. Everyone's made a Model Y killer. So, I mean, the Model Y is still doing pretty well considering all of its rivals. It did need some improvements, I think, to stay competitive, and Tesla have just done that. Will they make these changes to the German-made version as well? Very likely. Very likely that'll happen. These changes will be made to the German-made version. It just might take a couple of months for that to happen. Will it happen to the US version? Uh, probably not. What are your thoughts, guys? Let me know in the comments. Bye-bye. A lot of Australians are concerned that the power grid here can't handle electric cars. And you know, if you're a car company who doesn't make and sell EVs, then there's probably a good chance that your CEO at one point in time has said, oh, EVs will collapse the power grid. They'll be, they're unsustainable because the grid will just be annihilated. Is that actually true? Well, hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Keep in mind, many people, when they buy an electric car, do install solar. It's very, very common that this happens. It's kind of a cool side effect that when you buy an EV, a lot of people go, hang on a minute. Why don't I charge this with free electricity? And they go and think, oh, actually, I'm going to get some solar. And they obviously do the numbers. They realize solar is actually a no-brainer. I published an article. Uh, which went into great depth on the research behind how much money you can make in the United States